Hello, I am the Red Monk, and welcome, welcome, and uh, you know, some may ask why I am an uh, authoritative figure on this uh, issue with sex, I mean, come on, look at me, I'm like the handsomest motherfucker around, you, know, you can just tell by looking at me, I have the presence, I'm like Jesus. <laughs> Mind you, this video is actually about us losers. Now, I feel like I had sex in high school, and I'm not going to listen to this pale creep, because he clearly masturbates to uh, anime cartoons. You know, by the way, I've never uh, janked to any kind of animation, so I have that, at least. And uh, there are a large majority of people that uh, don't have sex in high school and uh, we need to exclude all successful motherfucks. So my uh, fellow sexless individuals who are just uh, brimming with limerence, this is our video. All right? This is our comfort zone. Now, the obvious answer for my uh, lack of a close relationship is because I'm a pale, anxious viscount. You know, but where's the fun of that? I have excuses. I'm going to blame some other people's ideology because it's wrong. Not wrong ideology is the people who say uh, sex is a transfer of power. And first off, I want to say that is not true. <laughs> you know, you can rule play it if it gets you going, but... It is totally, it makes no sense. Where's the competition? You know? And I think the man and the woman, you know, work together. They're on the same team. You know, they're both vulnerable. And just like having the men be stuck in that whole dominance thing is uh, very shallow. And not only that, other people sort of expect it out of you. And it makes you seem shallow. And you know, I'm all about the teddy bear. You know, just super happy. That's not about me. There's no anger. There's no... Where's the competition? <laughs> and it feels like you should exclude other men, which we're all on the same team, and, you know, fighting, if you're not going to starve to death in the end, gets you nowhere. There's enough to go around. And if anything, if you've ever seen a relationship in your life, you understand the woman is in charge. Now, it's hard to be in the same place in the same time as a woman of breeding age, you know, let alone one who would accept this. Or man, you know, some people who are watching this might be gay, and that's alright. You know, I'm sure uh, no women are watching this, because uh, only men would watch this kind of bullshit. You know, maybe it's a school I go to. I'm sure people who are going to, like, nursing school or whatever... All surrounded by ladies, but like the field I'm going into has a 94% male to female ratio, and the school is just the same. You know, it makes me wonder if uh, women are just as isolated as some men. I hope that's true. <laughs> yeah, and you know, where else am I going to find a woman? You know, the only good place I think for me right now is school. You know, or eHarmony, but. I'll wait till I'm old and alone for that. But like, you know, approaching on the street, that just makes you seem like a douchebag. You know, being set up by friends, you know, like a friend's friend, requires friends. And I guess in my class, but there's like no woman in my class. You know, and the worst part about it is I hear a lot of people who have like four or five like third base partners who are like barely 21. And another thing that I hear people uh, ditch is the whole abstinence thing. You know, it's not a half bad deal. My uh, parents met when they were 18. You know, they only had each other. And they're still married to this day.
I think it works for a lot of people, and the whole pre-marriage abstinence really doesn't seem like a half bad deal. You know, at least you have something to look forward to, and it seems almost guaranteed. But with... <laughs> Nowadays, it's just, uh, you can sit at your home, and people get drunk every weekend, <laughs> and then just fame it. With the advent of computers, the internet, and video games having really widespread appeal to just about everyone, socializing, hanging out with friends really went down. It's an actual thing, and they call it cocooning. When I ask someone if they want to chill just for the sake of it, they look at me like, are you serious? Who does that? And I play my Saturday nights playing Dark Souls, and I can't be the only one. Like, I have a car, a little spending money, and I'm not a complete dickhole, yet I am not very social. But I do have my uh, little nest, my little cocoon, that I spend a large portion of my time. So it's still a Saturday night, but it's technically Sunday now. And I'm uh, spending my Sunday... As anyone should, playing video games. It's exciting. I got a PS4 and a PS3. Because they aren't backwards compatible. But yeah, this is my sort of chilling area. It's my microphone I'm talking into. But, this is my chair. I've had this chair for like, probably 12 years now. It's a good chair. But... Yeah. Not very clean, but it is my little area. Uh, don't gatekeep. It is so petty. Uh, we don't care about your ego. We just care about getting to the goal. Yeah, help help out if you already have reached that uh, state of having a significant other. You know, don't gatekeep. Help out your uh, fellow people who haven't got that yet. You know, you can't f every bitch. <laughs> That's just impossible. You know, we are all on the same team. You know, you won't starve. You won't lose your girlfriend if you have your friend one himself. You know, backing up on that uh, grocery store video. It bothers me why we aren't just all friends. You know? It's like there's no competition. There's no resources we have to fight for. I I don't see why we could just help each other out. You know, I don't gatekeep people who haven't, you know, reached having a significant other yet. And so there's no reason not to help out your fellows. You won't starve and you can't fuck every bitch. And gatekeeping is really bad in general. You know, it limits crowdfunding. You know, it's really bad for the society. And we live in a society, after all. And I swear, it's so difficult to talk about love genuinely. Because it always ends with the other people trying to brag about all the bitches they could get to suck. So our thesis of the video, you know that word, thesis, is if you're a failure like me, you know, keep grinding, I believe in you, you gotta commit, you know, for all the other people, you know, who had uh, sex in high school, uh, don't gatekeep, you know, set up your socially awkward friends, it's nice, that's the big takeaway, alright, bye now.